The duel of dinosaurs is one of the most remarkable discoveries ever made. Scott Sampson, Canadian paleontologist at the Denver Museum of Natural History. America is the real cradle of ancient fossils. But, as you know, dinosaurs lived in all corners of our planet. Today we will compare two continents where prehistoric inhabitants lived. This is North America. This is Russia. Northern and Eastern Hemisphere. And on them we can observe a huge number of dinosaurs of the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods. And which of them could resist each other? Who is stronger, faster and more merciless? Let's take a look at the American continent. Tyrannosaurus. Outstanding predator. Scientists have described it as a huge killer of all dinosaurs. Length 13 meters. Weight 9 tons. The Elon Musk rocket has 9 liquid propellant rocket engines. It's symbolic. The image of the monster has become incredibly popular. And everyone decided that he was the king of the dinosaurs. All other animals tremble at the sight of a Tyrannosaurus rex. Did the Tyrannosaurus live in Russia? According to the Fossil Works website, Tyrannosaurs and Tarbosaurs lived on the territory of Russia. Although, the first ones could hardly have gone straight to the Far East, but the Tarbosaurs, given their habitat, could well have wandered into the territory of Russia. Among the indigenous people one can single out such a dinosaur as Kylesk. It is not a Tyrannosaurid, but belongs to the Proceratosaurids. They, in turn, were a side branch of the development of Tyrannosaurs. The remains of Kylesk are represented by a skull and limb bones. It was a medium-sized dinosaur that dominated the woodlands of the Krasnoyarsk territory in the Jurassic period. The length is 6 meters, and the weight is only 700 kilograms. Carnosaurus the first carnosaurs appeared about 176 million years ago. They lived in North and South America. Also, their remains were found in Europe, Africa, Asia and Australia. Pretty popular look. Two species of carnosaurs lived in Russia, the Neovenatorid Chilantosaurus and the Megalosaurid Pocoloplorin. By the way, the Hilantisaurus is now called differently, Allosaurus Siberius. Carnosaurs are known for their gluttony. However, in the entire history of the Earth, almost predators have always been voracious. These are the owners of the North American lands of the Jurassic period. Ceratosaurus, Allosaurus, and Torvosaurus. Lords of the prehistoric jungle. They lived simultaneously in the same territory in North America, called the Morrison Formation. Subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment, and also hit the bell so as not to miss new and interesting releases from our channel. Let your imagination run wild and imagine that in the late Jurassic, a direct border formed between Russian and North American territory. And all this happens 150 million years ago. You are on the border between the forest, which consists of ferns and conifers, and a vast plain. You are watching an incredible story. A large predator appears, deftly maneuvering between the ferns, and at that moment, with a crackling of branches, another theropod comes out of the forest with a heavy tread. You have witnessed the meeting of predators, Allosaurus and Torvosaurus. Hiding behind a tree and frozen, you are in awe of what is happening. Run, poor paleontologist. But curiosity takes over, and, in anticipation of a spectacular battle, you follow the picture provided to your eyes with all your eyes. Both predators are surprised by the sudden meeting, opening their mouths wide, hissing at each other and turning sideways to visually appear larger. But all as one begin to sniff the air. Strange smell. The smell of death. Recognizing who the smell belongs to, the theropods look around, 
obviously starting to panic. The earth begins to tremble at the approach of the unknown. And now you see another predator of the North American territory. It's Sorophagon Axe. It's huge. The theropod stops, tilts its head and, with its toothy mouth wide open, emits a low-pitched growl. Hearing a terrible warning, all predators rush into the loose. Here is the apex predator of the late Jurassic of North America. And you, a paleontology lover, instantly jump out of your stupor and dash away without looking back and dream of getting back to the Cenozoic period. In terms of the number of studied predators of the Jurassic period, North America surpasses Russia and quite a lot. And what happens there in the Cretaceous period? The mighty Tyrex bypasses its possessions. And he did not expect it all that on the way he met a theropod of small stature. What's a parrot? Tyrannosaurus thought. Only one and a half meters long and the weight is 18 kilograms. Cetacosaurus is a herbivorous dinosaur that lived in eastern Russia and also lived in China and Mongolia. Dinosaur parrot, that's what paleontologists called him for his nose that looks like a parrot's beak. There was no duel. A predator would simply eat this impudent animal that crossed its path. Another American predator from the Dromaeosaurid family that lived in the United States in the middle of the Cretaceous period 115 to 98 million years ago. It belongs to the Manoraptors, a group of dinosaurs close to birds. Speed and surprise are the main advantages of this predator. The three-meter hunter did not attack the prey alone. The whole family went out in search of meat. It doesn't matter what it was alive or dead. Imagine that Deinonychus wandered not only into the territory of Russia, but also in the late Permian period. The period that was before the Great Permian Extinction. Deinonychus has come face to face with Innostrancevia. Innostrancevia, the king of the Permian period. Powerful three-meter predator. Quite fast and very strong. A one-on-one -on -one fight would be lethal for Deinonychus. Gorgonops was a very strong animal with the habits of a modern tiger. Due to its dexterity, Innostrancevia could win. But the fact is that the Deinonychus did not hunt alone. A crowd can destroy any formidable predator. Truden Fairly well-known small theropods living in the United States at the end of the Cretaceous period. Two and a half meters long with a tail and weighs only 35 kilograms. Few people know, but in the middle of the Cretaceous period, these predators also lived on the territory of Russia. More specifically, in Yakutia. Dressed in warm feathers, they were constantly in search of prey. Then in Yakutia it was not so cold as it is now. And these hunters easily survived. It is likely that the American and Russian Truden could differ from each other in color and plumage. But when meeting face to face, it is difficult to name the winner. You and I weren't there. Therefore, it is difficult to analyze. I would like to note that the prehistoric predators of North America exceeded the number of predatory dinosaurs in Russia. With herbivores, it was easier on both continents. A huge number of the most diverse hadrosaurids and sauropods lived in Russia. North America was not inferior in this. A lot of herbivore species also existed here. Almost all prehistoric oceans were inhabited by giant predators. The same Mosasaurus could live near the coast of New York, and the next year swim near Sakhalin Island. Ichthyosaurs known for their variety also made a migration path all over the planet. All this was done for the sake of producing offspring and continuing a new life. As for flying predators, the situation is clearly similar. Pterosaurs could fly great distances. 
and it is worth mentioning the various crocodilomorphs. They also live where the dinosaurs did, protected their territory and offspring. But you can talk about this in more detail in other videos. The mysteries of dinosaurs have been studied by only a few percent. Nature has so far closed its past to us. But slowly the door opens a little and every year we learn more and more about dinosaurs. And we hope that we will soon meet new amazing inhabitants of our prehistoric planet. Thank you for watching this episode to the end. Give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. And also hit the bell so as not to miss new and interesting releases from the Real Unreal channel.